Welcome to another segment of Mark and Melody in the Kitchen. Melody in the Kitchen. <laughs> Melody in the Kitchen. <laughs> I just get to assist. You get to, well, yeah, yeah, I'll let him. You're making mahi-mahi? I'm making mahi-mahi. You know, I never did like fish. I've made mahi-mahi. Have you really? Yeah. Did you like it? It's I was surprised popular. because I really liked this. It was very subtle. And the reason why I didn't like fish is I didn't like that real fishy, fishy ugh, yeah, taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is really subtle and cool. I like it. So it gives somebody, you know, they're always saying, oh, I want some variations. Well, hey, mm -hmm. we've got so many things to variate. It's yeah, amazing. sounds fishy to me. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. so cool. Uh, look here what I did. Yeah. Mark, I did nothing but take the tofu pieces. You could either cut them, you know, mm -hmm. cut them in half. It depends on how your tofu comes. But I just wanted little squares. Okay. And I did nothing but put them in the oven and just let some of the water dissipate. And I see it's mm -hmm. still warm. You can For see about it. an... For about... 40 minutes to an hour at best, okay. depending on your yeah. oven. And, and Just tighten it up. Yeah, tighten yeah. it up and look how kind of crispy it already yeah. is. Okay. So that's what I wanted to do ahead of time. And if you'll take a little bit of, you know what I want you to do? I want you to do some grinding for me. I want a few almonds. Yummy, okay. yummy. Because I what we're going to do is we're going to dredge oh, a little easy. bit. Yeah. Okay, we'll just fill this up with almonds. Yes. It's a coffee grinder. Coffee grinder. We use it for many things. Okay. Not, not exactly um, the best blending here. I'll let you take a look. You want me to put them right in there? Right in here. Okay, because that's going to be where you do your breading. Yes, this is where so I'm So there's some do big pieces in there. You know, I'll just get those out. But I like using this. Um, mm -hmm. I might have to dig a few big pieces out, but that's not going to hurt. It's kind of a quick thing. And I see you've got some seaweed here. Yes, so. which uh, was your idea. And seaweed. I thought it was wonderful to blend up some of the seaweed to give it that yeah. fishy taste. That's what I put in mine. By the Great way, for this the stuff. Thyroid. Okay. Mm. That's the way I eat it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. You know, I was born. <laughs> what was that look about? I saw that. <laughs> I was born in March, and so I'm a Pisces. There is something wrong with a Pisces who doesn't like fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does that look in the camera, and I'm like looking out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, uh, I, I see it in the editing stages sometimes. <laughs> She'll look at the camera and like I'm not looking. And <laughs> yeah, I did the, I did the thing. These are just like potato chips to me. Are they really? Yeah, yeah they're really good. You don't taste mm. the fish in them. I love them. They just and like you said, thyroids and things like that. I don't know if this is going to blend in here. Now, though. if I would have had it with me, I would have probably just dumped this in a colander so the chunks would have stayed on top and, and this would have been at the bottom. So I'm just going to stick them right there. Mm -hmm. This isn't blending very well here. That is not blending. It's so lightweight. Yeah, it's all floating to the top. I mean, it's blending, but it's... Um, and it's actually pulling oil out of it amazingly. Ooh, It's getting nice. oily. There it goes, see? Yeah. This is actually getting oily. Look at that. That oh is goodness, the most amazing really thing. And there's really, is there any oil in there? No. Look at this. It's actually oily. Wow. Oh, this just gave me a wonderful idea. Do you know what it is? Texas caviar. Oh, we are so doing some caviar. We have got to do some Texas caviar. Look at this. Yeah. This is why we love experimenting in the kitchen. I've done a lot of these things with this, but I've never done it in a coffee grinder before. And usually I just chop it up with a knife, you know, and, and or, you know, crinkle it up. But this actually got it oily. It gave it a, and I'll bet you the flavor is just going to be phenomenal. You're going to love it. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let me get I need some breadcrumbs when you're done with that. See, we've got a little bit of almond in here. Some breadcrumbs mm. are coming. Okay. And how many you want? We're just going to do a splash like that? Oh, yeah. My guess? Yes. Okay. Now, they're all kind of breadcrumbs whenever you go out there to purchase them or just do your own and add your seasonings to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, because so many of those breadcrumbs, man. The ingredients. I, 30, 40, 50 ingredients. Yes. Like it, it, it's, it's shocking. <laughs> it's shocking. And, and you wouldn't know it 
if you didn't read yeah. that uh, nutritional fact panel. It's all That's about filler. It's all about mm -hmm. addictions. It's all about um, volume. Mm -hmm. It's all about preserving. You wanted some of this on here, right? What is yeah. this? That's a little bit of the soy sauce already in the bowl. Oh, okay. So, which you could pour that over there. Maybe just a little bit water to cut it a little bit. So if you want to thin it out, that's what all this right. is about. Now this is an almond parmesan. Mm -hmm. And we've done segments on that. I'm going to So you're just doing a dredging, I just want to dredge it. That's all I want to do. With the water. With the water. Instead of, you know, like a flour, mm -hmm. uh, uh, soy milk, right. breadcrumbs, like I do mm -hmm. my chicken fried like steaks. Like you do chicken fried. Right. But, okay. But we want this to be a little, you know, we don't want it to be that thick. I, this okay. is just like a crusted mahi mahi. And the almonds, man, you talk about giving it that subtle. You flavor. could actually have bigger pieces in there. I don't think sure you could. Sure yeah. you could. All right. So I can take these. You can take those. <laughs> so good to see you here again. We've been on the road for a yeah. few months. And, and uh, well, Mark, should I tell him the news? Should you tell him the news? Or should we we better him? save it. We, we're going to save it. For Are we going to save time. it? There's news coming up that you'll want to hear. Yes. All right. She's, she's not going to let me get away with that, is she? No, she's not. And you're not going to let me get away with it. What's the news? Should I tell him? Should you tell him? I Melody got married. Melody got married. Yeah. Yes, I did. So. I married the most wonderful, godly man. And you know what, Mark? You know, we live in a day where we think sometimes our prayers just aren't heard. God heard my prayer, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He really did. And you know, just like a sister would, because I feel like Mark's my brother. I mean, he's my family. He really is. Brenda and Mark are family. This is my home too. It's, I call it my second home. Sometimes it's my first home. But the amazing thing about it is when I met this, when I met Rendell, uh, I wouldn't choose him until my family accepted him. <laughs> she did. Mm -hmm. She actually came over and said, hey, she she brought Rendell over and said, "Hey, you know, you guys got to let me know about this guy." <laughs> so, I wanted him right here at uh, their house so they could yeah. say, "Hey, yay or nay," and they said, "Yay" before me. <laughs> I was like, yeah. "Are you sure?" I, I don't know, and I kept thinking, yeah. "Oh, maybe so, maybe not." One okay. more. Okay, let me let me try this though. I want to do an experiment. Sure. And I just want to cut this and do mm -hmm. some triangles. Sure. And see kind of how it turns out. And for artistry. Because you don't have to have it like that. I no, really like don't. the big cubes like that, but I'm wondering if artistry, we can do something with some triangles there. Why couldn't you know, we? Be nice on the plate. Yes, congratulations. And yes. at least it's a good man. Oh. Uh, I wouldn't let you get away with anybody else. It, I you know. know. I know that he's yeah. telling the truth. He would not. Yeah. But uh, I had my handcuffs and my eviction notice <laughs> and everything ready to kick anybody out that wasn't good enough for you. And, yeah. and he is. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. God, yeah. I, I had a list. And I talked to my pastor, and I had this list of what I wanted. And I wanted a godly man, a priest in my home. And somebody who just had that personality that was phenomenal. But I didn't expect to get as good as what I yeah. got. I am so blessed. Yeah, so, and half the stuff on that list isn't even him. So it's a, yeah, the, the list thing is, yeah, you don't need a checklist. You need God's list is what you need. That's so. the truth. That yeah. is the truth, Amen. yes. Godly man. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? I'm going to put oven? this in the oven, and I'm going to cook it on about 325, 350, just enough for this to brown and crust okay. up. And then we're going to make a over. tartar sauce and a little bit to put we, over top We might of. have to do that. Okay, we'll get this done. You know what, Mark? I think <laughs> I think it might be done so you can get your fish. Where's my food? <laughs> this is our meal for today. Yeah, tartar sauce. Isn't that easy to do? Oh, please, you guys. You know, think outside the box. You don't have to have regular mayonnaise to make it. You can make an almond mayonnaise, a tofu mayonnaise like we did. Wow, yeah. what a great tartar sauce. I know that's done. Ooh. Yes. Yes, isn't that gorgeous? Okay, hot fingers. Hot Coming fingers, over. hot fingers. Mmm. Little, I don't know how you want these set up, but I'm just going to put them that on. That looks there. good. So well, these little triangles kind of worked out pretty good too, I do they? like the triangles. I think I might cut all of them into little triangles. I think we need to get Mark to taste this. <laughs> I'm ready. Give me that I fork. <laughs> I want you to see how it tastes. Yeah, because I've tasted a lot of fish. Yeah. I've actually... Texture-wise, actually, look at that. Look at the moisture. There's actually juice coming out of it. Mm -hmm. It looks. That's why I like to pre-cook the tofu. Get that 
crust, that sponginess there. Now, how does that taste with that seaweed? I gotta try another piece. How many pieces are we gonna try, Mark? Actually, mm -hmm. the tartar sauce really makes it, of course. Uh, always. That always, always, yes. But it, it tastes more like a swordfish. Than Does a it mahi really? Mahi-mahi, yeah. Mahi-mahi is very, very mild to the palate. Texture-wise, mm -hmm. it's more swordfishy. More swordfishy, yeah. okay. Perfect, uh, yay! Great. See, there's another option. Now we have a fishless, mm -hmm. <laughs> a fishless entree. Yeah, perfect, absolutely perfect, yep. There you go. We did a good job. I think so. Um, check out our websites mm -hmm. and uh, uh, what else do we need to tell them? <laughs> yeah, they got all our information, I mean. Well, yeah, they can go to our website. Our mm -hmm. phone numbers are always available. Yeah. You could call us at any time if you want a book. Yep, books are a available seminar. on If you want to buy a book or mm -hmm. book a seminar, yep. you know, you can call us. We come mm -hmm. to every church, Pretty denomination, mm -hmm. yep. uh, corporations, companies that will hire us to come in and just help to teach the people how to eat a little healthier because they're more productive and mm -hmm. you don't have to spend so much money on the insurance. So. And that gives me time to eat more food. Just keep going, keep <laughs> going. I'm going to keep going. Okay, Mark. And we'll it's, see you next it's time, It's time right? for you to go eat. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mm.